Hi there Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your October 2017 monthly reading. This it may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled these four decks for you. We will see what comes out. This is meant to be a general reading. Look at the cards that are falling out. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Like I said, this may or may not resonate because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. And free will plays a part. You're stuck. You're stuck, and it's that's the basis of your reading right there, that Eight of Swords, the right basis of your month. You're stuck in a situation. Um, all right, so the Eight of Swords says you're, you're feeling like, I mean, or you are imprisoned in a situation that you are, can free yourself from at any time, okay? It feels like you've just been battling out something, could be with a partner, feeling like um, you've been waiting for something to happen, you've been waiting for this resurgence of a relationship with somebody that you feel deeply connected to, and you're absolutely stuck on that, okay? You are. And you're stuck on that love, okay? Um, and you've just been sticking it out. It's been a stalemate. I think that there's been a lot of delays, Perhaps you're not getting the attention that you seek from somebody. Um, that's what I think. You're not getting the attention that you seek. Um, we have the Karma card here, which is Justice. That says that you're about to see the light. You're about to have a wake-up call. It's going to take strength, inner strength, confidence, and courage, and discipline, and willpower. To get through this okay you could have an unexpected choice in love right around the corner all right um, this is this unexpected choice is somebody that you have no intention of even thinking about but because your mind is set wherever you're stuck but this attraction is there and you end up going in that direction I do see now this is a monthly general reading for, so we're gonna go talk about money now you could have a new, um, you know, we have this new physical thing being offered to you, something tangible. Could be a raise, could be a job, could be a new home, you could be moving, you could be upgrading your home. I do see that you're being presented with something that, um, I mean, it could be a gift. It could be a gift of money, but I see something new on a physical level for you. Um, it looks like your home life is probably pretty content right now, very abundant and secure. It looks like there's a happy family life for a lot of you, um, even though the love life may not be exactly what you were hoping for. I see that you are missing an op or somebody is not giving you're missing an opportunity in love or you're not giving love to somebody who wants it or they're not giving it to you okay and it looks like you've been waiting for it and just fighting for it and just totally like I'm I'm ready for this and you've been waiting for it we have this uh, magician here this is awareness this is also about um, action and power you have the power and I think we talked about this in the last reading um, you have the power to get through this you have all the tools within you to remove what is whatever is keeping you stuck the tools are within you okay because I don't see that you're getting the attention that you desire all right um, this king of wand comes out king of wands comes out that says that you have to pull out your self-confidence and your self-worth, okay? You have to. You have to take action. You, you have to refocus, all right? 
That's what he says. It's time for you to refocus. This is also a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, which is connected to this lover's lineup, okay? This new love, which could be very exciting. It could be. It could be very exciting, could be very passionate. Could have, this person could, you could work with this person, all right? Or they could be helping you. Um, they could be one of the contractors that comes in to work on your home. Either way, I'm just giving you some examples here. This person is um, very unexpected, okay? It's an unexpected choice in love. It's an unexpected attraction, okay? And it could lead to love with this fire sign. But you're stuck because you're still pretending here. You're you're waiting for something to happen um, with somebody with, that isn't happening. Okay. Um, let me get the next deck. We do have Leo here. We have Gemini. We have Aries, Sagittarius. And there's not a lot of divine guidance here. This is about you this month. This is you taking action. There's not a lot of major arcana cards, even in this first pull. I don't even, I see one, and it's a karma card. Two. Two. The magician and, and judgment. You're about to have an awakening. Things are going to change. I think that you're about to see the light, or you may be seeing the light already. The light, and you may decide to finally get unstuck from whatever it is. Maybe your self-respect is coming back because this is self-respect. This is moving forward, taking action, putting yourself in the driver's seat this month because you're looking for that love, okay? I see you moving forward. Some of you could be moving. Some of you could be moving home or traveling this month or planning a move or planning a, planning some travel, okay? Um, I do see a victory. I see... Um, self-respect I see public recognition like I said you could be getting a raise you could be getting a gift of some money you've been maybe you've been waiting for some money to come in and this month is it's gonna come in because I see something like that here we have the king of cups this is a very mature person who is very charming and kind and um, hard-working I think that this is somebody who is very emotionally, you know, masters their emotions. So maybe this month you're taking on this energy and you are working on mastering your emotions. Or this could be a partner, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, and they could be the ones that are not giving you the attention that you desire or vice versa. All right. Five of Wands. Ten of Swords, Page of Wands. There is something new right around the corner, something new and exciting that dares you to be great, okay? It does. It says to act on your hunches. Um, there's, an opportun there's a new opportunity here. There's a new discovery for something to be great. You have the Page of Wands twice, right here and right here. And it involves love if you would only let yourself be free. If you would, because that's the basis of your reading. So this may or may not resonate. If you get the longer, if you choose not to be free, then this, this new thing, this new love, you know, and it could be a passion for anything. It could be a job. It could be a, a person. Whatever it is, it can't come to fruition if you aren't free from what is holding you back. This five of wands. This is pettiness. This is um, like it's things are. It's like a competition. You can't give up. It's like you can't give up because you, you the the rejection, the the loss. You can't have the loss. Okay. Um, Like, you don't want to be the loser. You know, you can't give up because you don't give up. But this is saying that somebody's going to lose. Somebody somebody has to end it at some point. Okay? This is, says it's over. This is the Ten of Swords. Something is over. All right? It's the end. 
this it, it, there's been a lot of disappointment but now it's over you've hit rock bottom and all you can do is go up from here and this is where you go up this is where you really do master your emotions and you put yourself in the driver's seat and you move forward now this can be with a job or it can be with a lover it can be moving physically it can be travel okay but I definitely see some mastering emotions here with this one as well and this one okay um, And there's a lot of excitement to be had in the future as soon as you are ready to let go and move up from rock bottom. So this month, I think you're working on mastering your emotions and freeing yourself from whatever it is that is emotionally keeping you stuck. And I think it has to do with self-respect and self-worth. All right. Let me get the next deck. This is for the sign of Libra. A lot of you may be focused on your career right now. Um, we have the Page of Wands who is generally focused on their career quite a bit. So you may be focusing on your career, which may lead to, you know, a raise or... Um, some kind of recognition for all your hard work. I do see you being recognized. And we do have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here a couple times. We have Gemini. We have um, <clears throat> Gemini again. The air sign, I mean the fire signs of Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Ten of Cups, happiness again. Ten of Swords. Com you have a few completions here. You have quite a few tens, okay? So, I mean, four of them to be exact so far. One, two, three, four. So, you have some major completions. And then we have the Tower. That's, it looks like things are changing for you. Things are changing. There was a falseness. There's been a falseness in your life. Okay, that, that tower is a false foundation, and it is about time you just let it crumble, okay, because that's what this says. It's going to crumble. It needs to crumble so that you can move up from rock bottom. It is going to crumble. Something is crumbling this month. Perhaps it will help you to free yourself, okay, because it's over. You being stuck is over. Okay, it's the end of that situation. All you can do is move up from here. You have the Ten of Swords twice. It's been very disappointing. I see a lot of sadness. Okay, I see a lot of sadness. And that's why these come up because happiness is right around. These are completions. A completion of a cycle. Okay, I think it's a relationship. I think it's a completion of a relationship. A completion of an emotional attachment that you have had to somebody. Okay. I think that's because we have a lot of completions here. And I see that if happiness is right around the corner from you as soon as you free yourself. Because this is the basis of your reading. Strength. Absolutely. And you've been resisting it all along. The hanged man. The strength says you need to have courage, wisdom, confidence, strength. And you need to let go. This You have to be able to surrender and let go. It takes strength to do that. A lot of it. Okay? I think there is, there is, it's an end of, a, end of a, a relationship. I do. This right here, the hanging, hanged man. Or, and it can be a relationship with a job. Or a family member. Or whatever it can be. It's, a, it's the end of something that you were connected to deeply. The hanged man is resisting the change, just waiting for something to happen. You're stuck. It seriously is time to let go. This, this hanged man is the master of non-attachment, okay? You're resisting the change, but this card comes out to say that you have to struggle through it. Or you could remain stuck here forever. You must struggle through it. The tower is here because it was false from the beginning and they want to help you. They want to help you. But you have to make the biggest effort, effort because 
we have the most minor cards. We have more minor cards than we do major cards. So they're not going to do it for you. They're not. The, the, I'm talking about the universe. I'm talking about the spirits. I'm talking about God. You have to make the effort to free yourself. Okay? They're here to help. They're here to help should you make an effort. Ace of Cups. Beautiful. The Ace of Cups comes out when there's an opportunity for new love. Of the beginning of a new love. New. Hence the word new. In capital letters with exclamation points. New love. Okay. So... There is new love to be had once you free yourself, okay? So this reading is for October. But for those of you who remain stuck with an attachment to whoever or whatever, then you re the, the longer you resist the change, the longer you remain stuck. In October, you have a very good opportunity with all these tens and the two aces to complete this cycle and start new. This is a gift from above. You have the opportunity to complete the cycle and start new. There is a chance for new love to show up if you're looking for love or a new passion. It could be a new job, whatever passion is yours, okay? There is a chance for it should you free yourself. I'm going to get you one of these whispers of love. You do have to look at something from a new perspective. You do. You have to look at it from a new perspective. That's just all there is to it. It's going to take strength and willpower. More strength than you, you've ever had to use in your whole life. Okay? We have strength twice. You're going to have to pull that out from the deep, deep shadows of your soul. Be in the present and dream of the future. Yes, please let go of the past. That is the perfect card. I don't think I've had this one before for anybody, but I think it's perfect for you. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Now, the aces also mean vivid dreams, the aces of cups. So pay attention to your dreams. They're trying to tell you something. Make sure you aren't dwelling on things that have passed and no longer exist. Everything has a past that has helped to shape who they are. This history cannot be erased. Accept the past and look forward to a future. Set goals, dream big, and create. By doing this, you will eliminate the prospect of visiting the past. Having a goal helps us to focus on what is important. The history cannot be erased, but it is time to free yourself. I said that. So Libra, that's what I have. And I will talk to you later.